another masterpiece from the Tsumeb mine in Namibia. Now, first of all, let's give you a sideways view. We have a matrix of a, a sort of a grayish dolomite. Perched on top of that, we have this crystallization happening, but we're going to go into that in greater detail in a minute. There's an underlying greenishness, a little bit of greenishness here. Could be the likes of motramite or, or duftite. Um, I think we're looking at, in this case, the smithsonite crystals, but we have two different kinds of crystallization here. We have this formation sitting across there, underlying patterning, and then this. These are microcrystals, as is pretty appealing. This is a little bit underexposed. Under magnification, well, this is one of the things of Tsumeb. The more you magnify it, the, the better it is and the more beautiful it appears. So you'll find in a lot of magazines you'll have these pictures of these Tsumeb's whoppers. And if you actually look at the dimensions, they aren't, they aren't as big as they often appear in the pictures. But a lovely little example of the fruit salad one can expect to find from the Tsumeb mine in Namibia. I actually just want to see if we can zoom into that section, because what's going on top, yeah, very pretty, but uh, uh, maybe just the smithsonite or the calcite or the aragonite, but what's going here where there's a little bit of color, just see if we can get this angle. So I'll move it like that, to see if we can zoom in over there. There seems to be an undertone of green to this as well. So we're going to have a look at magnifica uh, under magnification, and I'm going to give you an educated guess from my perspective. Uh, of course, please note that my ideas are purely visual. I'm no expert on, well, especially Tsumeb is a very, very complex, complicated site.